Okay guys, new product alert. Check out this 2002 Sierra 450 big wheel project we're working on. I've had a lot of guys actually ask me to do a big wheel. Here it is. We took a lot of time the last few months just on and off kind of working on this project, more or less just, we don't want to rush it. We're so busy with everything else that we're doing that we didn't want to push this too fast forward. We wanted to really take our time, design a killer swing arm that's going to be super strong, something that you can actually abuse. This isn't going to be, you know, something slow that you can't jump. I mean, this, this bike's going to be built to ride. This is a motocross bike. So our plan is to do a fat tire bike that you can actually really ride, really abuse and put, put through all the stresses of motocross. So check this out. All right, guys. So welcome to the channel. This is how everything started. So I basically drew this swing arm up in CAD and I knew it was really the only way I could make this look the way I wanted it to look. Obviously we're gonna run some billet components in the rear such as a billet hub, but this thing, I mean, it really just came together. So it's, it's very similar to our trike swing arm, obviously in the front, but being we're gonna be running a jack shaft to, to go to a wider back tire. So our plan is to run a 10 inch back tire on this with a 12 inch wheel. We're going to have sprocket adapter and rotor adapter on each side. So our, our rear hub is going to be universal to all of our big wheels. We're going to actually be able to adjust what adapter we want to run per model. So if we're going from a Cali to a Yamaha or a Honda, you can still use that setup on there. Um, the swing arm itself will be model specific. So that's just drawn with a 25 inch tire and the tire is going to be a lot rounder than that. So guys, here's a preview of the actual tire size. It's a 12 by seven wheel. Our whole goal here is to have a rounded profile. We're not gonna be running square tires on these. So we're gonna go 25, 10, 12 in the rear, 25, 8, 12 in the front. Um, we, we're gonna actually have a little bit more room in the front to go larger, which will be cool. So this is just for mock-up. So it's very similar deal to our trike front ends, billet front hub. We're gonna have a 12 inch front wheel, 12 by five. It's gonna be made by Kaiser. So that's gonna have a billet center with a spun aluminum outer, kind of similar to this wheel. Same deal in the back. That'll be jumped up to a 12 by seven wheel. So our, our goal is lightweight on the wheel as much as possible with strength, which is why we opted for the, the billet center that they make. I think it's gonna work killer with the build. So here's the swing arm tacked together. Everything was again CAD drawn and then CNC cut out. Uh, we use our CNC mills to make some of the pieces on there. Um, the rest of it was all CNC plasma cut and then it's going to be TIG welded together. So for now, it's just tacked up. We're just doing some fitment. We're going to be getting our hub set up. I'm going to be running that on the mill in the next few days. So I will be uh, posting some videos of that and getting guys some updates. But again, I've had a lot of interest in, in big wheel kits. Um, obviously, we've been doing the trikes for quite a while now, and uh, I think it's really time to finish it off with some awesome big wheel builds. So this is a 2002 CRF 450 that we purchased. This was on Facebook Marketplace. Um, got a good deal on the bike. It was low use, um, had the original graphic seat and plastic on it. Um, bike ran awesome. So just for the heck of it, we had some uh, 2020 plastic kicking around. We just did some, uh, some mods to the subframe and we're gonna do our own subframe underneath here to make this all work. So it's gonna have the trick style front fender here, original shrouds there with a different graphics kit and right to the 2020 rear. And of course our custom setup. So we did it because we had it here. I think it's cool. It's just something different than the, uh, the outdated stuff that was on it, but it, it's going to look cool. So I want to know what you guys think. Um, I, I, again, I've had a lot of requests for this, so we felt it was time to, time to make it happen. We're going to be covering pretty much 02 to 16 CRFs immediately. Um, following that will be the up to 2021. Um, we're also planning to do Yamaha, Cowie, um, KTM, of course, and a few other brands. So keep an eye out. Uh, I'm going to be putting videos up as we go. Uh, check out bbctricks.com if you're interested in uh, some info on these. Uh, we will be setting up a website for these specifically. We're just not there yet, but uh, let me know what you guys think. We're planning on doing some wider foot pegs that fold. They're not going to be like the track pegs that are out to here, but they are going to be wider and folding still. 
If you guys like what we're doing, please hit that subscription button, hit the bell so you get notifications. You know, we, uh, we try our best to respond to everything that you guys say. You know, if you say, hey, I wanna see big wheels, hey, I wanna see, you know, this or that. I mean, we really do try to, to try to pay attention to the comments. So we read every single comment. We don't always reply to every single one, but just know that we do, uh, we do check them out. So if you guys were tired of seeing uh, three-wheeler after three-wheeler and quad after quad, I mean, it's time for some two-wheelers. So give this a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks, guys.